we are going to continue looking at the math class and we're going to look at three methods of the math class and remember methods are the doers of the class they perform some kind of action and all three of the ones that we're going to look at in this video are going to perform some kind of rounding function and the first one is floor and what floor does is it rounds down to the nearest whole number 10.1 10.5 and 10.9 would all give us 10 even though this is close to 11, it would still round down to 10. And this is actually not the correct output. It would actually give us 10.0. Math.floor does not return an integer value. It returns a double value. And we're going to show you why that's important in a coming slide. The next method that I want to look at is math.seal. And if we use the same numbers, 10.1, 10.5, and 10.9, we'll see what it does with the numbers and it returns 11 each time and so it's the opposite of floor and seal is short for ceiling meaning that it's going to round up to the nearest whole number no matter what this number is over here as long as it's 0.1 or greater it is going to give us the next whole number which is 11 in this case and notice just like floor seal returns a double value as opposed to an integer value and let's see why this is important. Here I have floor and seal being used and I'm storing them as integer values. And if you tried to run this program right now, you would get an error. And the reason is, as we've just seen in the two previous examples, math.floor and math.seal return double values. Well, if you're taking a double value and trying to store it as an int, it's going to cause problems because you're making what is called a narrowing conversion. You're trying to take a larger data type like double and store it into an int. And if we try to do that, you see that it leaves the possibility of leaving behind some digits because these four bytes are no longer in use. Well, with numbers as low as 10.1 and 10.9, it's not going to be a problem, but we will have to make a typecast to accommodate. So if we add the typecast in front of math.floor and math.seal, it would then convert the result into an integer, and then we can store it into an integer. And now when we print out the result, we would get 10 and 11, no problem. And notice it wouldn't be 10.0 or 11.0 because we have converted them into integer values. The third rounding method of the math class is round round rounds up at 0.5 and rounds down at 0.4 and below we call this ties rounding and so we have four examples here 10.1 10.4 9999 10.5 and 10.9 so we see the values at 10.5 and above will round up to 11 and the values 10.1 and 10.4999 will round down and you might think that this would round up because of the 999, but it only cares what is in the tenths place. If it's a 5, it goes up. If it's a 4, it goes down. And so because this is a 4 or below, it will round down. Now you might find something interesting about the results in that it does not return a double value. It returns an integer value to the program. So unlike the two other rounding methods of the math class, floor and seal, math.round does not return a double. So if we were going to do something like this, math.round 10.5, and we were going to store 10.5 into an integer, you would think that it would work. But if we were to run this program right now, we would actually get an error. And you say, what? You just showed me in the last slide that it returns an integer value, not a double value. Well, it does return an integer value. It just doesn't return the data type int. It actually returns the data type long. And so we have the same problem of converting a double into an int as we do with a long into an int. We're making a narrowing conversion because you can see that a long value stores 8 bytes where an int only stores 4 bytes. So if we were to move it over, we have the possibility of the four extra that are no longer going to be used because an int can only store four bytes as opposed to a long, which can store eight. Just like we did earlier, we'd have to make a typecast. And when we do that, we can print out num1, and instead of an error, we would get 11. 
One more thing that I wanted to show you about the three rounding methods of the math class is that they can actually take in negative numbers. And you'll see here that I have 10.9, 10.1, and 10.5. And when we run this, we have to remember that we're dealing with negative numbers. And negative 11 is less than negative 10. So when you say floor, you wouldn't go to negative 10.0. You would go to negative 11 because that is the floor. That is the lowest. Same thing with seal. Seal, you would just go to 10.0 because 10.0 is greater than negative 11. And so therefore, math.seal would return 10.0. And lastly, same deal with math.round. Negative 10.5 would round up. And rounding up would give us negative 10 because negative 10 is greater than negative 11. So the three rounding methods of the math class can use negative numbers, and they're going to go the opposite way of positive numbers. So summing it up, the math class has three rounding methods, floor, seal, and round. The floor method will round down. The seal method will round up. Round rounds up at 0.5 and above, and down at 0.4 and below. And it uses what you would traditionally use in a math class, and that is called ties rounding. As we showed with both floor and seal, it's important to know what data type is being returned. If a method is returning a double, you can't store it as an int without a cast. Or if you're returning a long instead of an int, you can't store it as an int without getting a precision error. So with all methods, not just of the math class, but any method, it's important to know what result are you getting back from the method once it's done. And sometimes that requires a cast. And lastly, we look at negative numbers and how they could be rounded. Rounding can be an important part of any kind of math function that you're trying to accomplish through a program. It's good to know the three methods that the math class has available to perform these rounding functions, floor, seal, and round. And it's also important to know exactly how they work so you don't get errors like a precision error and you get the result that you're expecting every time.